Hi guys, welcome back. It is Pets Week. We're here with another one of our crafts. This one's going to be cats. I do have a cat. Um, his name, her name is Aster. Uh, but I did not make a project that looked like my cat. <laughs> so this is the start of what it's going to look like. So we're going to take two corks and we're going to glue it together to make like a T shape. So I've got a hot glue gun because this works really good at holding things together fast and strong. So I'm just going to glue it like that and press them together. You don't have a whole lot of time to move it, so you want to make sure you get it right if you use a hot glue gun. Set that aside. Now we're going to go to this one, which I've started. So you're going to paint the whole body. Um, I painted the head brown, and that allows me, I allowed it to dry so I could hold onto the head and paint the body. I'm gonna paint the belly a bit white. So you just figure out which side is the belly. And you can paint that a different color if you'd like. Okay. And then I'm gonna paint the rest of the body brown to match the head. You want to make sure that the head is dry before you start adding the base to it. Got it painted brown with a white belly. Now we're gonna start adding the pieces for the face. Okay, so I've got some googly eyes. And I'm just gonna Put a little drop on each side of the face. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to take this is a uh, pink foam, you can use construction paper or whatever. I'm just gonna cut a little corner off so I end up with a little pink triangle. And I'm gonna glue that on for the nose. I'm just gonna put it in the middle of the eyes but a little bit lower. So right where the cat's nose should be. And then I'm gonna take this brown foam. I'm gonna do a little bit bigger triangle for the cat's ears. And then I'm gonna put them onto the side of the head. And this is another place where the Hot glue gun works really good because that'll the hot glue will help hold those ears up. Okay, like 
that so the little ears are standing up. Now because that one is still drying, I'm going to go back to the one I showed you that I made originally and we're going to add the tail. If you look at the instructions, they have you wrapping the tail around the body a few times and you can do that if you want. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do, just kind of put a little bend in it because sometimes cats will put an arc in their tail. I'm going to glue it to the back so it's sticking up above his head. I'm just going to put some glue right here on the back. And there you go. There's our little cat. So I hope you have a good time making this. And you can make it whichever color you would like. I hope you have fun with it. One problem with the glue gun is it is a little sticky and stringy. So <laughs> have a good time, guys. Thanks.